this line and deduct amount 100 rupees from his account. And automatically a boom barrier will open. It takes hardly less than five seconds. As compared to the waiting average time is a 10 minutes as I mentioned earlier. So no point in waiting 10 minutes. Is the work happens in less than a 10 seconds, so it's eventually better. So this is what happens five steps when you go to the any toll plaza. First you stop at a toll, toll gate, then giving change to the toll gate, giving money. Third, third point is a taking ticket, you're getting a receipt. Fourth is a return change, if there is a change, 110 rupees you're giving 200, 90 rupees you'll given. That also adds to the time you are waiting there. And the last one is the toll gate will be reduced. How I can reduce these three points? So just, I don't want to stop there. I just want to go and like a smooth way, what I'm doing in the national highways or <coughs> expressways. So this three point will be deducted just because of a single R active RFID card. So that, that is good, your time will be saved, your fuel will be saved because you're wasting too much fuel waiting at the toll bus. So this is a flow chart how the collection process will occur. It starts, your car will come, then it will check that, it will check that, the, this one is check your unique ID, then next, is it register one? Because the concern is there are so many cars, you have to register every car with your active RFID, so that is more concern. So the next point will come, the you have to walk in a queue and pay tax manually if, if, if your car is not enabled with the active RFID. Then gets detail of database, this point. Then next comes the sufficient balance is there or not in your card. Because you have to put the money like in Paytm, you put some amount of money and from that you transfer to the particular person or particular uh, shop to purchase anything. So whether it is a, you have a sufficient balance or not, if no, then you have to pay the fine because you are not updating your account with a sufficient amount. And if yes, then the amount will be deducted and toll gate will open and transaction detail will come through your mobile and this ends the process. So I was talking about all the how it works and how it is gonna happen. Now I want to talk about the feasibility check will be carried by the Visha. Over to you, Visha. As my colleague has already explained about the theoretical process, there, there are a lot of theories, and why not, till now there is no implementation in India. The thing is like, uh, first of all, any developer, any producer, the thing, the first question that comes to his mind is whether the product is feasible in the current, current Indian market or not. So for that, we'll check into three feasibilities. One is market feasibility, technological feasibility, and economic feasibility. First we'll get into target market. In India, approximately for 1,000 persons, there are 42 motor vehicles, excluding two wheelers. So it counts around to 3.2 crores. That was in 2014. And as expected, by 20, like within two to three years, there will be raised in 10 to 20 percent. So which accounts for 40, uh, 52 motor vehicles. So that will be almost 5.2 crores if you consider our Indian population is 100 crore. So, looking at that, there is a huge market over there, and look, uh, there is a huge market over there, and everyone who has a four-wheeler, uh, above four-wheelers, uh, for the minimum cost that occur for buying a four-wheeler, currently it's available at rupees two lakhs. For installing an active RFID, it, the cost for just around 1,000 to 1,200 per, per piece. So for if you're buying for a rupee, uh, two lakh, you're spending two lakhs on a car, it's, it's, very, like, it's very minimal for if you charge two rupees thousand. So it doesn't affect the customers. It's beneficial because with, the, as with an extra spending of thousand rupees, you can save a lot of time waiting at the toll plazas and you can, save, you can have a fuel savings. And getting into the RFID market. Generally, RFID markets is mainly used in different sectors. The three important sectors where RFID is booming is, first one, in communications and in retail sector, and also in transportation. These are the three sectors where everyone uses, are using RFID tags. Uh, uh, coming to technical feasibility, whether these 
systems can be installed or not. Looking into the market, where they are already used in the lot of retail in retail uh, used by retail companies. The best example we can take is we can take is Walmart. Walmart has installed uh, like, uh, active readers, active readers at the entrance of the shop, Walmart. Then whenever the customer passes through the gate, it identifies the customer and it also take and it also suppose if he is a regular visiting customer it also get the priority of what is going to buy what is regular needs and it identifies the location where the product is kept so this is what the technology has been advanced so it is easy to install and coming to the savings uh, by installing this technology walmart has all, nearly 6.7 billion savings on labor cost itself Coming to the economic feasibility, as I have already discussed, cost the, the uh, cost for each RFID tag is rupees two, thousand to rupees twelve hundred, and there are two components for the RFID tag. The uh, RFID tags, one is RFID chip, and another is RFID readers, which has to be installed in ev at every toll plaza. The thing is like there are different types of readers. One is fixed readers, and another is manual readers. In the manual readers, as Pushka has already explained, for the passive ID card, you can use the manual readers where the person has to go manually and swipe across. So it also takes some time. Even though it reduces some time with the exchange of money, but also there will be some queue over there. Suppose if it is possible to fix two RFID readers at the, at the each end of the toll plaza, whenever you pass through it, reads the RFID, the signal that is emitting by your RFID tag installed in your vehicle and it matches, when it matches with the frequency of the reader, it, uh, it first it checks with the balance and it deducts from your account. And that, uh, the setup cost, the setup cost for each RFID reader is nearly 6 lakhs rupees to 8 lakhs rupees. Even though it's like a bit costly, but this is a one-time setup process. And uh, if you're looking into the policy like government was recently in 2016 the uh, NHIA has already started this process in Mumbai Ahmedabad highway but why not they haven't installed in other state highways the problem they are facing is like uh, as sir has already told like in some of the passes where the vehicle if the vehicle doesn't have the RFID tags they are also entering the same passage and it's creating a lot of chaos over there even though they have the cards it's taking the same amount of time. To avoid this, what we need to like, how you have to proceed. Uh, this is the RFID mark growth market which I have already discussed. Yeah. Who are all beneficiaries? Uh, installing this system, the thing majorly affects three, uh, three individuals. First one is government. Second is toll operators, and third is road users. Even already, we can see the government is showing interest in investments during, uh, in these type of activities where e-tolls can, e can be implemented. Because it also gives the transparency for the toll transactions. As we already discussed, there are some uh, mismatching in charging, and similarly, Ah, as we already discussed, like, annually there were 87,000 crores that was a loss incurred to the government handling these toll plazas. The main aim for the toll plazas was to get the uh, investment from them and uh, in, to get the amount from there and invest in all other infrastructures. But the thing is, the currently it's happening, it's in a reverse order. Even though they're getting the money, they're losing it in different directions as like, for the fuel costs, and also waiting times. Next beneficiaries are toll operators. Uh, as of, we already discussed the example of Walmart, it reduces the manual labor cost. So which will be in less operating cost. And next is better audit control. They will have good track of records, like how many cars have been passed, whether they need, whether there is any need of increasing number of tolls at the toll plaza. And the third one is road users and the final consumers. The, for the final consumers, it's like 
basically it helps in decreasing the waiting time and also the uh, decrease in inconvenience. Now based on this, we have done a SWOT analysis, how it can be implemented, what are the sense, weakness, opposite threats. Coming to the sense, it gives a better administration, time saving, fuel saving, and operate, operating cost saving, and enhanced data collection, which enables us to track the data. Even for the uh, government, it is helpful, like if there are any crimes, it can be easily tracked through this RFID tags. And the weakness of less public awareness, low literacy rate. And coming to the opp opportunities, uh, in this current segment, we can do fraud, uh, fraud prevention, entering a fast growing market, and parking lot management systems and petrol pump payments. And also there are few threats for this product. The first one is the political issues. In the, as if the political issues, suppose if the government passes this rule that every toll plaza has, in, has to install the RFID readers, but there might be a change in government which causes the political threats. And also, another threat is competitive market. The thing is, like, as the idea is not an innovative one, it is just the first one who enters the market will have the higher, like, will, will have higher opportunities to get the more profits. Once the product is released, there will be few competitors entering into the market, which can be threat to your product. Next. Okay, just we gone through the feasibilities of the product and let's check how to proceed. The first thing is like, uh, in the Indian market, almost 47.48% mar uh, market is captured by Maruti. So if you target just one company and into like collaborate with them and install the RFID tax at the time of manufacturing itself, so that will be easy to go and it's like and what then the question arises, what if already the, the cars are more three point two crores cars are already on the road? For that we can like if you take first if we collaborate with Marty, we can put up a scheme like there will be free service for one time in a year. For the first, uh, there will be the, for the particular duration of the month, from de suppose December to February, you can give one free service. During that time, when the cars come, was, ca cars come for the service, you can install the RFID tags. So uh, through that way, you can enter the market for the already existing cars. And coming to, the, coming to the supplying, as we already know that there are patent rights available on the, there are already patents on RFID tax. That is the reason there is no manufacturing unit in India. We just, there are four major vendors which supply RFID tax. One is Alien Technology, Honeywell, Impins, and Zebra Technology. What you are thinking is like, uh, after like this project, uh, we started this project in uh, past month. Like it's been two months we thought of this idea. We're trying to contact them. So if we get get to any agencies, so that we can speak with the vendors, and and we can look into the scalability of the pro product. Next, the scope will be explained by Pushkar. So the, because of once you enter into the parking place, your RFID card data will store and it will tell that at the first floor, at the third uh, sector, 
the space is open so you go there and park your vehicle you don't have to go and search where is a free space go first floor and then second floor then third floor instead of because of active rfid card you get to know that where is a free space and you can park your vehicle so that is a future scope of this project yes thank you any questions What happens if balance is not there, and uh, where the car will go then there after? Hello. Hello. Okay, so I was I also had first the same question what is ATV which you have clarified. Now coming to the technology you are talking of as far as I know I have been through it in Dubai. I don't know whether it's RF, RF idea because I am not a technical man in that aspect. But there is a technology which is extensively used in USA in all their expressways, widely used in Middle East, especially in Dubai, Sheikh Zayed Highway, and also in some other countries. Now, you are talking that toll gate does not close open. First of all, there is no toll gate. The way this system works is you have to, there are three requirements. You have to reduce your speed. 260 in Dubai. Okay. So normally you travel at 80, 100 in Sheikh Zayed Highway. 500 meters before this RFID or whatever it is, what technology, you there, there are enough indications that you are reaching that zone. Okay. So you cannot miss it. So there are three requirements. First, reduce, reduce your speed to 60. And 60 is not a small speed. Okay. You are cruising at 60. Second, Keep minimum four feet distance from your next vehicle. Okay. And third, in that 500 meters, you cannot change lanes. Okay. So here you are talking that people go here and there. So this system cannot work in part RFID and part uh, open. It has to be full or the lanes have to be, uh, you know, segregated. Your question, sir, what if you don't have money? And not only money in, in your card, even if you break any of these three requirements, the fine, there are cameras. The fines are so extensive that you do it once. You miss any requirement once. You will make sure that at least for next 10 days, you will not go somewhere near that because the fines are so extensive. And I have paid.